Well, thank you for attending today, Father, for Simon's commendation. Simon's commendation for what, Cass? For being the smushiest unicorn, of course. All oh, right, OK, is that like an official award? Well, you tell me, Dad, it sounds pretty efficient to me. No, official, but no, I don't, I've never heard of it. I'm not saying it anyway. Casper, let me smell your breath. Daze, why are you smelling <laughs> and tasting Casper's breath? She's looking for garlic bread. My she has it with spag bol, Dad. She can't make spag bol. No, she orders it from that new Italian. What do you mean orders it? What new Italian? I met him at the pub. He's called Antonio. Bloody gorgeous. He is cast gorgeous. You met an Italian man at the pub, Daisy. Can we get back to Simon, please? Yeah, I think we'll come back to Daisy. So I've gathered you all here today to celebrate the unicorn and horn life of Simon. This here unicorn. You don't gathered me anyway. I'm on the sofa. Oh, Dad, you're ruining Simon's big day. I'm sorry about this, Simon. He's so uncouth. No, I'm not. You've not organised any event, Cass. Sim Sim and you mustn't say that about my father. You mustn't say what? He's just a toy. No, he is not a silly Susan, so how dare you say right, that? Right, if he's calling me all these things, I'll have a listen, shall I? I don't actually think he's saying anything. I'll put him back on his pedestal. No, you've ruined it. I don't want him on there, Dad. I haven't ruined anything, Casper. You were doing some little event thing for him. No, take him off, Dad. You've absolutely done it this time. Hope you're proud of myself. Casp, stop being silly and just leave him on there and carry on with your little award ceremony thing. Fine, I've gathered you all here today to celebrate the life and achievements of Simon, the horned unicorn. <coughs> Oh, it's because I ate poo, Babber. I thought that's what you were looking Just for. Just ignore him. Carry on, Cass. Okay, Sammy. Daisy, don't eat <gasps> that. What is that? I pooed. I'm very confused. I don't know what she was. I'm going to hazard a guess it's not that crumpet. That's it. I don't know why I bother trying to do nice so many for my showing, and it's all ruined. Thanks a lot, Dad. How was it my fault? Well, they're your dogs, Dad. And you are. <gasps> How could you say such a thing about me referring to me as some sort of pet? I think we need a house meeting. I vote get rid of crumpet. I'm here to stay, Babber. Tell her, Cass, but I'm not annoying. Tell her. Days, come on. Cass, can I tell you something? Cass, Cass, tell her. Tell her I'm not annoying. Tell her, Cass. Uh, uh, Dad told me not to lie. Crump, why don't you just leave him alone for a second? Oh, a toy. How fun. Let me have it. Crump, you must unhand him immediately. Casper, if you share it with him for a short time, he'll stop annoying okay, you. Okay, you have a go. Drop it, Crump. That was long enough, wasn't it, Simon? Come here. Crump. That didn't seem very fair. It's all right, my babber. I really enjoyed it. Okay, fair enough. Right, we'll try again, Casper. Okay. We're asking people if they like the content to follow and share the page. Dad... We've spoken about this before. It's not right to do this. Yeah, but you keep getting the wrong end of the stick, Caspi. I've said it before. I'm not going to encourage people on social media to follow a poor girl called Paige around Dad. That's not what I'm asking. If you can't see the gravity of what you're saying, then you need serious help. There's no one called Paige. What have you done with her, Father? Nothing. See what's happened now? Yes, but nothing has happened now. It's the Paige. The Paige on Facebook. Well, I don't think Facebook should be naming things after Paige. She might not have agreed to it. No, Casper. No, I give up. Everyone just needs to calm down. The long and short of it is, you are going to stop following Paige from now on. Do you understand me, Dad? This is not acceptable. I just wanted people to follow this page.